Hello, it's me, Mr. Mustafa. Welcome to my geography class. Today, we can discuss the planetary winds. That is, the definition of planetary winds, which are the different types of planetary winds, where they are blowing, what are their characteristic features. Planetary winds. They are the winds developed between the global pressure belts. They are also called global winds or permanent winds. So we have learned that there exists differences in atmospheric pressure over different latitudinal zones at the global level. The thing is illustrated here. You can see here it is in a high pressure, then low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, low pressure and high pressure. And these pressure differences lead to the formation of wind. And we know that uh, wind or the air will move from, will blow from high pressure to low pressure, high pressure to low pressure, high pressure to low pressure, high pressure to low pressure. So their pressure differences lead to the formation of wind. Wind blow from high pressure to low pressure. So that winds developed between global pressure belts. Winds developed between global pressure belts are generally called planetary winds or global winds or permanent winds. So that winds blowing between or developed between global pressure belts are called planetary winds. There are different types of planetary winds blowing between definite pressure belts. They are the first one trade winds, second one westerlies and the third one polar easterlies. I will show you an illustration where you can see different types of planetary winds and which are the pressure belts between which they are blowing and what are the names of those planetary winds. You watch and find out. Global pressure belts and planetary winds are illustrated in this figure. Look at the figure. At the center you can see trade winds which are blowing from subtropical high pressure belts in northern hemisphere as well as in the southern hemisphere to equatorial low pressure belt. You can also see the westerlies which are blowing from subtropical high pressure belts in both the hemisphere to subpolar low pressure belts. Polar easterlies which are blowing from polar high pressure belt in north and south to subpolar low pressure belt. So there are three different types of planetary winds. They are trade winds, westerlies and polar easterlies. Let us see one by one. The first one. Trade winds. The winds continuously blow from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt. So trade winds are the planetary winds blowing from subtropical high pressure belt. This zone is called the subtropical high pressure belt. Subtropical high pressure belt. So the wind blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt. Equatorial low pressure belt. So from here subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt. And we know that wind is blowing from high pressure to low pressure. Wind is blowing from high pressure to low pressure. But we have learned that as the wind is blowing, as a result of Coriolis force, we know that uh, the Coriolis force, as a result of that Coriolis force, that wind will get deflected. In the northern atmosphere, it will get deflected to its uh, right side. That meaning to the right of the direction of the movement. Here it is. And you stand here. Where is your right uh, hand? Here. So that right side meaning here, it will be deflected like this. And in the southern hemisphere, it will deflect to the left of its direction of the movement. If you are standing here, left is here. So left of the direction of the movement. This is what a leftward shift. This is what a rightward shift. So the direction of the wind would be from here. The direction of the wind would be from north east. This side is what east. So the trade wind which is blowing in the northern hemisphere is called 
नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड बिकॉज इट ईस ब्लॉइंग फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट डायरेक्शन वी हाव लेर्न दैट नेम्स आर् गिवन टू द विंड ऑन द बेसि ऑफ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फ्लो हिय द नेम ईस् गिवन लाइक वैस सो दिस ईज वाट नोर्त ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड इन दि नोर्दन हमस्फियर इन दि सदर्न हमस्फियर वी नो दैट द विंड विल गेट सपोज दैट हियर इट ईस इट विल बी वाट डिफ्लेक्टेड हियर डिफ्लेक्टेड हियर डिफ्लेक्टेड so the wind is blowing from which direction here it is south east so this trade wind is called what a south east trade wind so the trade wind which is blowing from subtropical high pressure belt in the southern hemisphere to equatorial low pressure belt is called a south east trade wind because when it is blowing due to coriolis force it get deflected to its left and it is blowing from the direction of south east and this is the area equatorial region doldrum region here this uh, south east trade wind north east trade wind converge that is meeting here it is you know that here it is coming 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 and meeting and here it is you know that meeting so the zone where north east trade wind south east trade wind converge is called uh, intertropical convergence zone what is inter tropical convergent zone so in the tropical convergent zone is the place or the region where northeast trade wind from the northern hemisphere and southeast trade wind from the southern hemisphere converge meet westerly is a very strong planetary winds blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere so westerlies are the winds blowing continuously from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt that is from here it blows to subpolar low pressure belt so from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt but we know that uh, here the coriolis force is very strong and we know that as a result of coriolis force the wind will be deflected to its right in the northern hemisphere here to its right so its bend would be like this so that wind will be deflected deflected to its uh, right in the northern hemisphere so the direction of the flow would be exactly from west so this wind is called westerly because it is blowing from west in the southern hemisphere we know that the wind will deflect to its left like this it will deflect to its left it will deflect to its left blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt so its a direction would be exactly from west so it is called westerlies so westerlies are the wind which are blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to to subpolar low pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere do you think that the westerlies are blowing with the original character with the greater vigor and strong in both the hemisphere in the same fashion no the westerlies are stronger in the southern hemisphere than in the northern hemisphere why answer you find out with the help of the map look at the map so you can find out the reason of why westerlies are blowing very strongly in the southern hemisphere as compared with the northern hemisphere look at the map and here this line is equator that it divides the earth into two halves northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere what you can see here look at the northern hemisphere you can see you know that uh, vast expanse of continents continents are there more but a southern hemisphere vast expanse of ocean and here one is in a vast expanse of ocean the other one is what a less continents in northern hemisphere what a more continents continents you know that uh, ups and downs are there mountains are there valleys are there deserts are there forests are there and these things you know that will reduce the speed of the wind that we know but in the southern hemisphere we can see you know that only what uh, a one third of uh, south uh, american continent a tail of africa 
and all Australia is there. The all large mighty continents are in the northern hemisphere. So the reason why the westerlies are blowing very strongly in the southern hemisphere is one is vast expanse of ocean, the other one is absence of big continents. So the very strong westerly is blowing in the southern hemisphere. Different names are given to the westerlies in the southern hemisphere by the ancient mariners. They are the first one roaring forties. That is, the westerly is blowing along 40 degree latitude in the southern hemisphere. Second one is furious fifties. That is, the westerly is blowing along 50 degree latitude in the south. And the third one, shrieking sixties. Westerly is blowing along 60 degree latitude in the southern hemisphere. The third one is polar easterlies. A planetary wind blowing from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere. So polar easterlies, we know that two poles, north pole and south pole, they are very cold. So they are the centers of high pressure, here around 90 degree north, high pressure, here around 90 degree south, high pressure. From this polar high pressure belt, a cold wind is blowing. We know that wind is blowing from high pressure to low pressure. And it is blowing. Here you know, here it is what blowing. But we know that at a polar region, Coriolis force is very strong. As the Coriolis force is very strong, the wind would be deflected very strongly. And as a result of that Coriolis force, this wind which is blowing from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure, polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt will be deflected greatly will be deflected greatly. So the direction of the wind is from what east, eastern side. Direction of the wind is from east. So it is called what easterlies. Here also, the wind would deflect to its left like this. Wind would deflect to its left. So its direction is exactly from the east. So it is called what easterlies, polar easterlies. So polar easterlies are very cold wind blowing from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere. That meaning northern hemisphere as well as in the southern hemisphere. And this cold wind plays significant role in determining and deciding climate of North America. Especially that Canada and Northern America, Northern USA, Alaska that area and uh, Russia, especially Siberia that area and Eastern European countries. So that's all for today and thank you for watching me.